Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and I am just starting the beta. I'm coming to you with early access on Reventuli Coast in Finland. Okay, so here is the map. I'm gonna have to unlock the map. And oh my goodness, look how beautiful it is. Look at the reflections on the water. And there are golden eye ducks. That's our very first species in Reventuli. And look at all of them. I need to spot them all. There's a level two, there's a level one. Surprise! All right, what time is it on the map? It is 18.32. I'm actually gonna change it to early morning. We're gonna start at 5.30 and hunt the whole day through. That sounds like a plan to me. Here's the cache right here. Look at that, that is sweet. All right, so the 308, the 12 gauge or any shotgun, the Zarza 223 and a 22 should be what we need. Let's actually go in the store and see if there are any new callers. Of course there are going to be. It says I own them all. All right, I guess I am on the beta. So here we have the Beacon Deluxe Bean Goose Collar, the Eurasian Teal Collar, we have a Eurasian Widgeon Collar, a Deluxe Gray Leg Goose Collar. Look at all the collars, look at the detail. They have changed a lot. They have really improved the graphics on the game. I am impressed. Beacon Deluxe, Duck Collar. We do have White Tail on the map, Hazel Grouse Collar, and then we do have our decoys. So I'm not gonna grab any decoys quite yet. I'm going to have to figure out where everything is and come back and set up. But I would like to grab a water layout blind. Three. We're good, we got it. And there is our weapon wheel for the very first time. Okay, so now we have the 223 loaded as well. So we have all four weapons. All right, let's go explore. Lakes. There's a Eurasian Widgeon. I so want to shoot one to about 150 meters and you should be okay. Now I have absolutely no idea what diamond is for Eurasian Widgeon, but we are going to shoot one right now. Now I do have a bad wind, so I think I'm just going to use my 22 here. I'm going to get right to 150 meters. So that guy goes up to 837. I think I got him. I got a couple! And man, they are not going to be easy to get out of the sky. Holy! Yeah, this is gonna be very challenging. So hunting pressure should not affect waterfowl's need zones. They do all have need zones now, but you don't have to worry about blowing out your zones. You can kill as many as you want. So that is very good. That's part of the new rework to the waterfowl system. All right, this is our first harvest from Revon Tule Coast, yay! Doesn't it look beautiful? It is a silver, interesting. Look how beautiful that is. So that is a gray and there's the other one. This one is a brown and we do have a gold here, 841. Beautiful. So I'll taxi that as well. So gold starts at 770, so that's really not a bad one. Guess what, guys? I just found a drink zone for Lynx. I actually didn't expect them to have drink time. So they drink from 3 until 6 or 6.30. That is awesome. Look at this lookout tower. Oh my goodness, it is beautiful. This is our first one. And look at the view from up here. Oh, look. There's a level two Western capper. All right. There's a lynx, level seven, pretty nice one. And that is their feeding animation. Where did the capper Kaylee go? It just vanished. Oh, and there's some white tail. Look at that. So it can be thick on the map. Oh my goodness, look. A <laughs> Canada goose came in. And I got it, beautiful. Beautiful, first Canadian goose is a level three and we managed six shots. 8.59 is diamond for Canada goose. Okay guys, there is our first brown bear. We got him, beautiful. Now, brown bears have had a rework. They are going to look different and I can't wait to check this guy out. It is very strange to shoot a brown bear without snow under it, but it is very cool. And there is our first brown bear and oh my goodness, they are gorgeous. They did an amazing job. 27.7 is diamond and that is very sweet. They look amazing. I'm impressed. Okay guys, we just got it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there they go. I got it! Yes! <laughs> Listen to them, they sound amazing and it's just a level one. 
female but isn't it gorgeous? I have a feeling I'm missing out here. What is happening? I hear them, but I don't see them. Alright, nothing very exciting. Got one! So here is our Tundra Bean Goose, level 1 female. That was a 223 meter shot, and they are absolutely beautiful. The sounds in this game are amazing. Like, they are so immersive. Look at that, guys! That is our very first Diamond Potential Whitetail, and he looks pretty wide. I don't know if he'll make Diamond, but we're sure gonna find out. So, definitely Whitetail Drink in Ravantuli Coast from 8 or 8.30 until 12 or 12.30. We have a four-hour drink time. That is super awesome. There he is. Beautiful. Take a couple there. So the smaller one here, this is him. He is a 175. And this guy. Ah, uh, he may very well be a diamond. He looks very big. Here we go. <laughs> we have a diamond white tail. That is insane. That is amazing. I'm elated. Very first diamond on Ravantuli Coast, and I've only been playing for about half an hour. 258.4 and 255.09 is diamond, so they changed that by the 0 .09, used to be 255 on the nose. This is where we found him, right here, bottom right hand corner of the map. So look at all the animals we have here, guys. We have moose resting, I think I discovered, there we go, whitetail right there. There's another whitetail zone there. I actually have another diamond potential whitetail. Now I don't think he's big enough, but we're gonna find out, that's for sure. Bottom right corner and Three whitetail zones right there. Pretty sweet spot. So, so far guys, this is the first time it has rained on the map, so I don't think it's gonna be a really soggy map and that is good, but he's nice. And he gonna die. All right, let's have a look at him. Yeah, I don't think he's wide enough, but let's have a look. 236, so he is a nice one, but not big enough. Okay guys, we found a beautiful moose. He's sitting pretty for us. He is very nice. I love moose. Now it's gonna take a second because it is the 308 for him to drop in health. I can't see how that's not a good shot. We do have vital blood, so it was a good shot. Yep, it's just gonna take a little bit of tracking. And look at this, guys. This is the new dog wheel. Listen to the clicking. It looks beautiful and it sounds amazing. That is awesome. Man, that's not easy. Oh, I hit a tree. <laughs> Look how he landed. He is posing for us. Look at that. All right, let's have a look at him. 241 is an absolutely beautiful moose. My shot was, ooh, a little bit high. I was zero to 150, so I needed to be zero to 75, but we did get a vital shot and that is a beautiful moose. So they've changed their trophy rating from 275 to 274.99. Look at this, guys. Nine legendary brown bear. I can't believe my eyes. All right. Don't have a bear collar on me. There's a black grouse. So he is 275 meters. All right. We actually went back and grabbed the 300 because the... 308 is just terrible on moose, and I would imagine the 300 will be much better on brown bear as well, so. All right, I have a side angle on him. He's still calm, all right. I'm gonna quickly stand up, and then I'm gonna take my shot. I should be able to just shoot him like this. I'm gonna stand, here we go. Oh, splat! Yes! <laughs> That is amazing, he just dropped! Now all he has to do is actually make diamond. Wow, my luck is crazy today. I'd love to find a diamond of one of the new species, but hey, I will take it. Look at this, look at the new models for the brown bears, they look amazing. Okay, my friend, you can do it, here we go. Oh, are you kidding? That was a right long and hard shot, what a beautiful shot. But sadly, he is a troll. He is 1.1 under diamond. That breaks my heart a little. 
And let me show you where we found him. Here we are in the bottom right hand corner. And where I shot the diamond whitetail? Right here. So, this bottom right corner? So far it is pretty crazy. Oh, there they are! There they are! Did I get it? I don't think so. And splat! May have shot it too many times, but at least we get to look at it. Yes, too many times. So look at that, guys. So there it shows you immediately shot more than two times so you can see what went wrong in the harvest check so that is new so that's pretty sweet and this is an okra look at the details absolutely beautiful look at this lookout tower guys holy that looks insane brown bears moose the birds of revon Tuli coast and a map beautiful details wow so this is our first boat now can we get across with this we sure can. It took us straight across and look, it even shows you. That is super cool. A level seven. No, turn baby. Shoot him in the butt. All right, so this is our first look at a raccoon dog. So I didn't get a final hit. That's totally okay. Aren't they beautiful? I am gonna taxi him. Hey dog, cool it. You did good dog, you did good. Look at this bridge, guys. Look at the scenery here. Oh my goodness. The detail they've put into this map is crazy. I am super impressed. Can I get up here? Okay, guys, we have a mountain hare here. And I'm gonna see if I can get him with the shotgun. I think he's within range. No! Oh, it was a delayed reaction. We got him. Look at that. Very, very nice. Aren't they cute? I like! So there's a mountain here, guys. So diamond is 5.6. Guys, that is a monster moose. It is a level four, but it is diamond potential. Now I have the seven mil. I switched to the seven mil so that I could grab tents. Cause I decided I wanted to tent the map up. I doubt he's a diamond, but he is very pretty. Oh, there he is. There he is. I'm gonna guess he's gonna score about 250. Okay, we did get him. He really is beautiful. Look at the shovels on him. He really is absolutely beautiful. 260! That is a huge moose. Wow, I'm gonna taxi him. What a gorgeous moose. Basically 14.5 under diamond. And this is where we found him. This was his zone right here, and that is the top left corner. Okay, we have a feed zone for rock ptarmigan. Now, I can't remember, but I think you have to shoot these in the air, like pheasants and quail. I haven't shot one yet. Look here, guys. That is a pretty nice whitetail. Again, I'm just gonna be ridiculous now. Oh, we got him! Don't know if I'm allowed to shoot him off the ground, but at least we get to look at one. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Oh, oh. We got one. All right, one in flight. So there is a black grouse. That is a brown. Beautiful. A molting rock ptarmigan. And yes, grounded, you cannot shoot them, but they are beautiful. So the ptarmigan species you need to shoot while they are airborne. I'm hoping there's an outpost here. So, so far guys, my first impression of Revon Tuli Coaster that this is an amazing map. I am having an absolute blast. I love how many species are on this map. There are animals everywhere. You can't go too far without running into something. And this map is absolutely beautiful. And the upgrades they have made to the game are absolutely fantastic. So I am very excited. I think this is gonna be one of, if not my very favorite map. I am going to be on this map for a very long time. But guys, let me know in the comments how excited you are, what you are most excited to hunt in Revon Tuli Coast. And that's going to wrap it up for this one. Don't forget to leave a like, guys. You guys are amazing, and we will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. There's a really nice white tail. Let's drop him.
that. If you guys would like to learn amazing hotspots for every single species in Call of the Wild, definitely click on these Where and When Super Guides.